And gun violence is also in the headlines here in Portland. The man behind the deadly mall shooting at Clackamas Town Center used the same type of semi-automatic rifle that the shooter in Newtown, Connecticut used. There is a memorial service underway right now for one of the two people who died in the mall. Very sad, and our reporter, Joel Iwanaga, joins us with more on the services for Stephen Forsyth. Joel. Hi, Jeff and Kelly. An emotional memorial for this husband, father, friend, and businessman whom his friends and loved ones describe as larger than life. Let's give you a live look inside the Rolling Hills Community Church in Tualatin right now as we speak. Last week, Steve Forsyth was selling his custom wooden coasters at his kiosk in the Clackamas Town Center when he was killed during that shooting rampage. Again, that service in his honor this afternoon. The 45-year-old is being remembered for his service to the community, a youth football coach and basketball coach, a family man who adored his wife, his teenage daughter, and eighth grade son. The news of his death stunned the hundreds uh, who knew him through his contacts in the local radio business for nearly a decade. Forsyth was a general sales manager for Intercom Communications, which runs seven radio stations right here in the Portland area. Forsyth is being remembered for his sense of humor and smile, a kind and gentle man who loved playing sports with his children, and he always made time for them. Today is a time for loved ones to not say goodbye, but they say so long to the man who gave respect to receive respect. I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin Local 6. Kelly, back to you. Thank you, Joel. Now, the family of the other person who died in the mall shooting is still finalizing plans for her memorial service, Cindy Yule. She worked as a hospice nurse for Kaiser Permanente. We know that her memorial will be this Friday at Kaiser Permanente's Town Hall Auditorium right there on North Interstate Avenue. It is also open to the public, but so far, time for that service has not been announced.